INEC and the APC are still foot dragging over the request by Atiku Abubakar of the PDP for a live transmission of the proceedings at the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal. They are jittery. Somebody is afraid to let the world see what is going on. And these two parties, APC and INEC, INEC is the umpire. You did a good job. You said you said everything went well. Then what do you have to hide? Let the television cameras roll. Let the world see how clean your job is, how authentic, how credible. Let it be televised. Why is anybody afraid? APC, you said you won the election convincingly. It is the fairest election in Nigeria's history. It is the best, according to Bayon Anunga, spokesperson of um, uh, Bola Metinibu. Then, let the cameras roll. Let it be shown. Let everybody see it. I don't see a problem with it. They said that a clear conscience fears no accusation here. If you have nothing to hide, open up your arms and let anybody, everybody see it. But they are dragging, uh, shifting, uh, you know, preferring argument and this and that. No way. The truth must be told. Nigerians demand it and that is the way it's going to be. Articles case is coming up again tomorrow. It was done yesterday. What I found out is that the tribunal, because the cases are um, substantial, they want to stagger it. They listen to Labour Party today. Tomorrow they listen to PDP. The next day Labour Party and the other day PDP. I think that's what they are doing here. Because they adjourned uh, or postponed the articles and PDP's case from Monday to Tuesday. That was yesterday. So yesterday they had it and then I put it again to Thursday. They had the one of Labour Party and PDP on Monday and put it today Wednesday. So they are staggering the whole thing. Now, um, the INEC and the APC were appeared before the uh, presidential election petition uh, court yesterday to respond to the PDP's uh, an order directing the court's registry and the parties on modalities for admission of media practitioners and their equipment into the courtroom. Chris Uche, who is the lead counsel for PDP, informed the court that he filed the pre-hearing information sheet on April 27 already and has uh, adopted the replies contained therein. However, he requested an urgent ruling on his motion for live transmission, which was dated May 5, saying that he had served all respondents but had yet to receive their reply. You see what the tribunal has been hammering on? Delay tactics, foot dragging. He wants everything to move. You, you are served paper that we want this thing to be transmitted live. To reply to that, it doesn't take long. Just to say we agree or we don't agree. But they haven't done any of them. So Chris Uche is urging the court to permit the television uh, the televising of the proceedings, especially at this critical moment in the nation's history. He pleaded. However, INS lawyer Bobakar Mahmoud San responded in open court, not by writing, to Mr. Tuche, stating he would only answer after speaking with his client. So INEC have to speak to him first before he will give an answer. We will, of course, be needing time to respond okay what time do you need televised or not to televise there's no technical uh, details involved there's no research to be done is either agree or we don't agree he agreed anyway that they were served um, a day before the proceeding that they need to take instructions from their client and respond appropriately that is mahmoud the counsel for INEC. Chief Tommy Aliyu, who represented Bola Meitinibu, said he was planning to answer the case in accordance with the court's guidelines. He is still planning, and time is going. 
Aside from that, he requested the court to dismiss or strike down the PDP's plea. On the other hand, Lati Fagbemi, who represented APC, verified the receipt of the PDP's motion for life transmission. He said, yes, my immediate response is that you will hear from us within the time allowed by the rules of the court, Mr. Fagbemi said. However, Mr. Uche, the attorney for Article Abubakar and PDP urged the court that in the spirit of collaboration already agreed upon by the parties, the respondent should serve any motions they have on him immediately in order to save time. Time is of the essence. Because May 29 is approaching and if this case is done and disposed of, the better for everybody. Ms. Tuche stressed again that if the pre-hearing process was to be shortened, the respondents must react to his petition soon. However, Mr. Fabwemi stated that he would not be forced to violate court rules in order to answer to procedures served on him within the time limit. You see, nothing can be done outside the rules, Mr. Fabwemi said in response to Ms. Tuche. As a result, the five-member panel led by Justice Haruna Samani deferred the case until May 11 by 2 p.m., that is tomorrow, Thursday, for further pre-hearing. It's still pre-hearing, not the main hearing. He urged councils to prioritize the matters they want to be resolved at this point. The judge ruled that the PDP's demand for live streaming of hearings will be considered with all other applications. So all these are pre-hearing, pre-hearing, I mean, cleaning the house, arranging things, agreeing on procedures and all that. And this shouldn't take uh, so long. Nigerians are looking forward that they agree on these things and move the case forward. However, it is very, very obvious that in this whole process, they have to push and jack the APC and the INEC to work out because the game plan is simple. Delay as much as you can so that there will be no judgment on the 29th of May so that Bola Tunubu will be sworn in. And what happens after is anyone's guess. Will the Labour Party, PDP, allow that to happen? I don't know. But they are pushing very hard, doing their best to get this matter resolved and have everything settled, if possible, before the 29th of May. A lot of people are beginning to say that this election tribunal that has 180 days to determine a case after the election, which is six good months almost, is too long. They have to make sure that the case is finished before the swearing in. Immediately after the election, give the case two months or three months, and then everything must be finished before the swearing in, so that when someone goes in, he doesn't start the government, and two months, three months, or thereabouts, he is kicked out, and everything starts all over again. Get it done, and let it be over. You see, yesterday they got a judgment in Adeleke. He is already like three months in office. If he lost yesterday at the Supreme Court, he will go home and the other governor will come in. Everything will start all over. This is where we are. This is the latest development from Articles Court sitting yesterday. And then we ask you to stay tuned because we'll bring you those that will be happening today. See you in our next video.